if you can hear black feather over here she's grunting she's running to her just got done mowing and trimming you know what i hate worse than trimming trimming poison ivy Fortunately, I'm not that allergic to poison ivy. There's that ball, untouched. I did lawn care with my brother for years, and I think I came in contact with poison ivy so much that I developed somewhat of an immunity to it. I still get a little bit, but it's really not that bad. They say to take cold showers. I just wiped off my arms with cold water. Hopefully that works. We'll see tomorrow. I'm pulling all these temporary posts up and we're going to use them in the next field. We've got quite the arm load. I don't know how many there are. I might count them up as I set them out and see how many I have. I thought I had somewhere around 50. All the bison are laying down right where I'm going, so they're going to have to start getting up. There they are, starting to get up. They see me coming. Sorry guys. I know you were resting. Need the stakes though. So what we got going on is they are running out of grass, just like what we talked about in those other videos. And that's why I was working on doing that rotational grazing with them. Well, um, I don't really have the time to do experimenting on them right now. So I've got a field that had um, cows in it. So it's just a four strand barbed wire here. So what I'm gonna do is I've got these temporary posts. We're gonna go around the whole field and we are going to put these in and we're gonna run two strands of hot wire on here and that will keep them in. So the field is looking really, really pretty. As you can see, lots and lots of grass. So I'll get them in here, that way they'll have plenty of grass, and then we will work on um, expanding and doing a permanent fence. This is just a temporary situation, that way it buys me some time so I don't have to go and fence immediately. So let's get this done. So this is actually the field that I'm going to set up the corral, the portable panels, but it's gonna be um, in that spot. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is probably fence all this in, let them in to this, and then take and pull those portable panels up to the top of this hill here and feed them out of that corral. That way I can get them used to going in and out of those corral panels. You can see that they are anxiously awaiting on the other side of the fence. So this fence right here, we're not gonna worry about setting these posts in and running the hot wire because we've got four strands of barbed wire and then we have that high tensile electric on the other side. And gapping in between there is only like a foot, foot and a half max. So. They will not be able to get in there. They'll only be able to stick their head in there and they won't be able to get out. So we're not gonna worry about that. I smell a skunk. So I think we might have just enough. We'll see. It's been a week or so since it's rained and the ground is starting to harden up again. 
we have good moisture but it's just getting a little hard well what we have to do here is this brace and this wire is in front of this gate so i need to take this brace out and then pin this barbed wire up over here somewhere in order for this gate to be able to be opened and the bison to be able to run through so let's take this out I don't like how they're eating that down over there, so we're gonna go ahead and just do this up temporary, give them some more grass, and then we will redo this uh, at a later date, probably in the next month or two. We are hot. So we got all the wires done. We've got two temporary wires on the inside of that barbed wire. Um, we're gonna go ahead and open this gate and then call them in. And I bet you they're gonna take off running across this field. So let's see what happens. They're laying down way at the other end of the field over there. They're being really, really lazy. Even one's still sitting down. They're coming, just slow. Come on, guys. We're waiting for the rest of the herd to come. Red Prairie is the first one to lead, and then Strong Wind and Coyote. The other guys are not sure how to get in there, getting separation anxiety. They're kind of stuck on the other side of the fence there and these guys are kind of waiting for them. Normally what they do is they'll all run through all at once and then run into the field. These guys are separated so they're kind of hanging out. Coyote looks good out in the field. It looks real dark right now. There they go. They're gonna run without the other three. Those other three over there can't figure out how to get over. I think what we'll do is we're gonna go in the fence there and we will give a little pressure to them from that side and make them run to this corner and then they will see the opening and run straight in. Come on guys, gate's over on the other side. So what we're gonna do is just kind of watch their body language. We're gonna come way on the outside of them and they're watching us right now. They're getting nervous because they're separated from their herd. So we don't wanna stress them out, but we're just gonna give them enough uneasy pressure that they wanna start walking to that corner. Come on guys. Then we just start moving in just a little bit where they get uneasy. We don't want them to run down there. We want them to run through that corner. So we'll just be real nice and easy. Come on, guys. If you give them too much pressure, they'll take off down into the field. 
what we don't want. See, black feathers already faced that way, so now I'm going to stop. And it kind of gets her to stop and see if we can get her to get around that big clump of cedars. Come on, guys. That big clump of cedars is the problem. They can't see around it to the gate, so they just look at safety there. Come on, girls. There you go. See, now they're heading in the right direction. We want to just be really easy with them. And there they see the hole. Oop. One didn't. Let's see if we can. Oop. <laughs> so she got a little separated. So we're going to do the same thing with her. Kind of walk on the very outskirts of her and just give her a little bit of pressure. If you can hear her grunting, that means she's stressed a little bit. She's having a little anxiety from the others. See if she goes there. Oh, she's turning. Come on, girl. She just doesn't see that opening. You want them to join up sooner rather than later. That way they don't get too stressed out. If you can hear Black Feather over here, she's grunting, she's running to her. They're communicating. This is what I talk about when I say that they are herd animals. They can get stressed out if they're separated. Come on, girls. Come on, girl. See, she's not really going to want to run away unless the others run. See, the other girls are running away. If they can all go down to that corner and meet down in that corner, then she'll figure it out. Almost there. Oh, the other ones will show her how to get in there. There we go. <laughs> they took off running. That's all right. I think I'm going to leave them alone. The other two went into the pasture. They know how to get in there. So we've got walking coyote, red prairie, and strong wind in there. And these guys are separated, but at least they know how to go back and forth. Um, it's better three and three than having five and one. So we'll leave them be. Uh, they were grunting a little bit, kind of getting a little stressed out. So we'll leave them alone. Well, we've got walking coyote and the two girls that he's used to out over here. The other three are in the front pasture. So um, they will probably join up tonight since those two came through the gate and they know the way they'll lead the other one through. Um, I can't remember if it was Little River that I was um, struggling with. I think it was Little River. But anyway, she'll come through and uh, probably be tonight. These guys will, they'll start grunting at each other at some point and they'll communicate. They're not too far away. So just wanted to leave them alone. That way they don't get too stressed out. Uh, when they get stressed out, you know, they can start going through fences and stuff like that. Things get weird, so you just want to back off if you don't have to push them. And I don't have to push them right now. There's no reason to push them. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I have turned into a red lobster today, like you have been able to see. Um, so it's been uh, 
hot out here and summer is finally here. So remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. Check out our website, brokenarrowbison.net, and we will see you next time. There they go. All six of them together now. They figured it out finally. Mm -hmm.